Hi everybody, I hope everyone's been well. This is a tag video and it's the 11 products most reached for tag. And I really found this tag interesting. I thought it'd be a great share. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So these products are the 11 that I put together. They're not exactly the only products that I use in those categories, but essentially, even down to the shade, these are the products that I don't really think of anymore. It comes automatic in any routine or any makeup look that I'm doing. Um, I do have other products in the same category, let's say bronzers or concealers, but the only reason why I do use them is for the purpose of making use of them and switching things around and just putting things on rotation. Otherwise, these are definitely the products that I automatically, out of reflex, just grab for on a daily basis. So let me begin with two brushes that I have with me. Um, these are no-brainers. I don't even try to switch it out with anything else. The first one is my foundation applicator. This is Sephora Professionals. Um, airbrush number 55 and I think I've mentioned this in other videos as well so this has even kind of put my beauty blender quite permanently on my cupboard because I just don't even have to bother cleaning the beauty blender because it's a sponge I do have to wash it every night after I wash my face whereas this um, not so much because the brushes or the bristles don't really absorb the product the way the beauty blender does um, and my blush brush, the MAC 116, um, I, I don't think I will ever find another blush applicator that just applies um, powder blush as good as this. And I find that the, the size of the brush and the bristles are just perfect truly for applying blush product. And then I'll just continue on with the things I have. This one is um, the Soleil de Tan or the Bronze Universal, which is the cream or mousse bronzer of Chanel, which looks like this. And sorry, it looks kind of um, not very clean, but I promise you it is. It's just that the brush that I enjoy using this with has a tendency of shedding hair. Um, this is just a universal color that really looks good in everyone. I can't imagine not applying this ever, um, on any look. As long as I have foundation or I put a full face on, this automatically has to come into play. Otherwise, the tendency to look pasty and very pale, especially in photography, is highly likely. So usually once you put foundation or you start you lay a canvas for makeup, you really have to put some form of bronzer and the Bronze Universal is truly holy grail, expensive, true, very expensive. I think this is one of the most expensive bronzers out there, but for the amount that you, that you use this on a daily basis and for the quality that you get, this would probably last me another 15 years. Um, it doesn't, there is no, challenge or difficulty in applying it or even I've never experienced putting too much on because the consistency and the finish that it leaves you with is very natural and it complements and blends well with any other cream product regardless of color. So the next product is just my um, the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This is my ultimate under eye concealer. MAC Paint Pots and I just consider this as one, it's either I use Bare Study or Painterly, and this is usually what I use as my eye primer interchangeably, but more than any other eye primer that I have, this one I reach for every day. Another tool, and this is the Shimura Eyelash Curler, which I'm sure everybody knows about, I reach for every day. Two eye um, products. This one is my Dior Show Brow Styler, and this comes with a a brow brush in one end and a universally flattering or one shade of this muted kind of brownish gray tone and that even looks I have to put a lot to get this shade on but usually it's even lighter than this 
Then I have my ultimate. This one every day I reach for, even if I layer my eye look or my eyeliner with a gel liner or a liquid liner or any other cream liner. I always start with a MAC um, PowerPoint Eye Pencil in Stubborn Brown. And it's this one right here. Stubborn Brown. And then I have three products that are not necessarily cosmetics. One hair care product and this is the Kerastas Nectar Thermique with heat styling protective agent for dry to very dry hair. This is a leave-on conditioner. Um, every time I wash my hair I use this product and it just protects my hair as well from the flat ironing that I do. And then of course my Bioderma Solution Micellar for sensitive skin. My holy grail makeup remover every day and um, I thought this would last me much longer than I thought but apparently not and even if I do use other makeup removers just for rotation purposes I usually still have to come back to this and at least do one swipe of this on my face because otherwise I feel like not everything is removed and last but not the least is my Mario Badescu seaweed night cream um, I use this diligently every night ever since I've purchased it. This has become the, or, oh my god, it smells amazing. That's how it looks. And this has become my intensive night moisturizer of choice. I still have my Josie Marin Argan Oil. Um, sometimes when I exfoliate, I use that. I just have a feeling that the oil is just much more intense than a cream, but every day I definitely reach for this so those are my 11 products that I reach for the most I hope that was an interesting share and I hope you guys have a great day